Brad Stuver, who joins us now. Brad, thanks so much uh, for coming on as always. Uh, you may be the MVP of this show now. <laughs> well, thanks for having me on again. All right. So let's, uh, I'm trying to wrap my arms around what was, let's, let's be honest here. This was five-star entertainment. If you're a neutral uh, between San Jose and Austin, there's no question about it, but let's wrap our arms around it a little bit. And, and, you know, from your perspective, uh, what that game looked like. Yeah, they're a, they're a difficult team. They're kind of a team. Uh, they're a bit of a unicorn. They're a, a one-off in this league. Uh, they play a very different style than most other teams in the league. And, you never really know what you're going to get, but you always know that it's going to be a little bit of uh, a little bit of chaos, a little bit of a, a hectic match. Um, I think in the first half, uh, we let the chaos kind of rule everything. And that's kind of where we got all or most of the goals. And then in the second half, I think we came out and uh, we controlled it a little bit more and um, just really unlucky to uh, give up such a, a late equalizer and not uh, take advantage of our opportunities at the beginning to kind of seal off the game. It's Brad Stuver, Austin FC goalkeeper. You mentioned the word chaos and look, your home games, when it comes to your crowd, it's intense. You've mentioned that everybody around the league talks about it and it can get chaotic. And I would imagine it can also get chaotic and pull players into that chaos. So what I'm hearing you say maybe is a bit better decision-making, maybe you manage and control that game against San Jose a little better. I think we, in the first half, uh, there was a lot of energy. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of movement. I mean, the San Jose players are really good at uh, changing positions interchangeably and they're trying to pull us out of position and make it a little bit more difficult on us. Um, I think in the first half we were playing more of a transition game and, uh, we were losing the ball. They were coming on transition. We were doing quick attacks, and uh, it was kind of a kind of a goal fest there in the first half. Uh, I think in the second half, uh, Josh made some adjustments and got us into a a little bit of a more controlled block that we could control the game a little bit more. And the second half slowed down a little bit and kind of played into our favor. And uh, we just we couldn't get that uh, that ceiling goal that would have uh, ended the game. Brad Stuver joining us. Uh, by the way, 57 goals this weekend in 14 games in Major League Soccer. That's just mind-blowing numbers right there. Um, Austin FC, number two in the West at 13-5 and six, a plus 19 goal differential. And Brad Stuver has seven shutouts this year. You know, the intensity of keeping the mental level high now as you get into the stretch. You guys are well-positioned for the playoffs, but it's going to be a lot maybe about how you enter the playoffs. And the intensity of keeping this level this high throughout the season. Uh, how do you maintain that? Yeah. Those of us that understand the league and understand how MLS works is uh, you're not really guaranteed anything at this point in the season. Um, we're in a good position right now in the standings and some of the results went our way this weekend, but uh, it's on us to continue driving this. It's on us to, um, figure out what we need to do in these next 10 games to end in a position where we can have a home playoff game, um, whether that's first, second, third, fourth. Um, obviously, we want to be high as possible in that table. Um, but our end goal is always to make playoffs, have a home playoff game. And right now it's about managing our emotions and managing uh, the rest of our games, especially the ones at home. And kind of control what we can. Brad, take me into a little bit of the process post-match for you. you got a great goalkeeper coach, Preston Burpo. Um, you know, what, what's it like after a game? Uh, how long do you process the game? How much talk do you have with a goalkeeper coach? And then at what point do you just leave it all behind, whether you've had what you feel is a great performance or maybe a night where it's not as your normal performance? How does that work? Right after the game, there's not really much discussion um, just because everyone's so emotional and uh, especially a tie like that. Uh, a lot of a lot of people have emotions right there at the surface, and that's kind of not a good time to evaluate the game or evaluate your own performance. Um, just because in the heat of things, you remember plays in the game a little bit differently. Um, so it's good to take some time and kind of go back, watch some film and kind of digest what happened, what you remember the game looking like, 
seeing it again on film and seeing if it uh, is the same as what you remember in the moment. Um, and then today back at training and we kind of discussed a couple different moments and tomorrow we'll review film and then that'll be that. Once we review film, we're, we're on to the next game and start prepping for Kansas City. And does that happen individually with you and Preston as well? Specific to your Yeah, team? so yeah, so Preston and I'll talk about certain moments in the game and we'll discuss like different ideas and um kind of go through a couple different clips um just saying like here's what you've improved on in the year, here's what was good in this game and then pull up a couple clips and just be like all right, what what did you see in this moment? Um what do you think about if this happens again? What 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 about this? Um, and it's always more just like constructive, like what ifs, not kind of not like saying, oh, you suck or anything like that, but more just kind of like <laughs> think it was constructive that. criticism. Just we're all trying to get better. All of us have room to improve in everything we do. And um, when we do individual film, when we do team film, it's all about just kind of painting a picture where we can show different ideas and kind of talk back and forth and try and get players up to their best potential that they have. How much of the talk is about your organizational side and, and, you know, the communication that you have to a back four and your teammates, because I think sometimes, you know, everybody goes to Brad Stuber, all oh, these incredible saves, and there's no question you're a great stop, shot stopper, but you know, there is also part of Brad Stuber that organizationally is preventing shots, which may go unnoticed. That, yeah, I mean, I'm, that's a very good question. Uh, that is something that goes unnoticed a lot, not just in a goalkeeping, but even in like a, like a back four, getting their midfielders in the right spot. Um, we talk about it all the time and we always talk about um, the best way to prevent attacks is by good structure and good communication. Uh, especially against a team like San Jose, when there's so much interchange of players, it was all about communicating to the players around you about like staying in your structure, letting players know when there's a runner on their right shoulder, things like that. Um, it's a little difficult in Q2 just because of the noise level. Uh, but I think the group we have is um, gotten extremely comfortable with each other and uh, has gotten really good at reading body language and kind of reading uh like body cues of when to switch and when not to. And uh, when the play stops, we definitely talk a little bit about like what's what we're seeing, what we need to uh, relay to other guys. So it's been good. Brad Stuber doing us uh, goalkeeper for Austin FC. Interesting. You bring that up about the noise. How difficult is it to communicate? I mean, if somebody's <laughs> 25 yards away, I can't assume that they can hear you. No, nah, it's impossible. There was a play, uh, second half of this last game where ball got crossed in from a set piece and I'm yelling keeper and Julio still running and we just kind of like collide and we're about five yards from each other I, I don't know how many times it's happened but when balls get crossed in like my defenders are five six yards away from me and they still can't hear me so it's a good problem to have but uh it's definitely it's an interesting problem to solve do you have the sense that this team can score anytime? Because certainly as an outsider and watching the games, I do. We have a, we have a way about us. Uh, I mean, we are, we have bought into the way that Josh wants to play. And I think everyone's understanding of their role within the system and our ability to create chances in a variety of different ways has really kind of been our strength this year. We have so many different goal scorers on the list. Uh, I mean, we're getting goal production from pretty much every position on the field. Uh, we're scoring on set pieces, run of play, um, crosses, dribble, headers, like you name it, we're finding ways to score. So um, I think it's just the ability of our players to kind of buy into the system and truly stick to it and see the results. Um, it's, it's fun to see. And um, it's always nice knowing that uh, – you're like going into a game, like, you know, that your guys are going to score a goal some way, somehow. Um, so that always gives us a little bit of a confidence boost going into games. Last one, before we let you go, Brad, thank you very, very much for coming on last year. You penned a letter to the fans, very emotional letter after a very difficult season. Did you ever think it was going to turn around this quickly and to this extent, because it really is a remarkable turnaround. Yeah. I, I think a lot of us that were around last year knew that, um, 
you give us a little bit of a reset and uh, you give us a little bit more time to kind of implement what we wanted to do, that we were going to be a good team. I think we were a good team last year. We just weren't uh, finding the results and we weren't finding goals. Uh, I think if we had the type of goal scoring production that we had this year uh, and we finished the chances that we had last year, our season would have been very different. Um, but to those of us that have been in this system, been around this club since last year to this year, um, there was always this feeling that we could take it to the next level, that it was on us to kind of drive forward and make this season what it is right now. And it might seem surprising to a lot of people on the outside that haven't been in the training sessions in the locker room and seeing how much work is being done by our staff and our players. Um, but for me, coming into this preseason, I think all of us knew that this season was going to be different. Brad, thanks as always for coming on. We appreciate it. Good luck against Sporting Kansas City this coming weekend. And again, uh, your time is valued. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks again. All right. That's Brad Stuber, goalkeeper for Austin FC. That brought to you by John Daphne.